Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rao. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my YouTube channel Mathematics by Dr. N. Rao. Today I am going to deal with one important uh, lecture on De Morbius theorem. Okay, or up the king, especially Kush video lectures, may many De Morbius theorem, Kyoper, both important, important examples, discuss ki hai, jo apko both help karne wale hai. Okay, as we have a both important example here, but discuss karne. So I hope you will enjoy this session. So before going to further study, I request each and everyone to subscribe my YouTube channel, like and share the videos among your friends, your classmates, and comment in the comment box. Press the bell icon to get the further notification. So now we we start the session for today. Question up your skin pe, okay? Question is that prove that a plus iota b to the whole power m by n. Plus a minus iota b to the whole power m by m by n m divided by n equals to two times a square plus b square to the whole power m by two n cos m by n ten inverse b upon a. It is your right hand side. Okay. So to prove, we will take first left hand side. Now we start the solution. Okay. So what about the left hand side? So left hand side is you know a plus iota b to the whole power m by n then plus a minus iota b to the whole power m by n come on now we need to prove this is equal to this okay it is equals to this come on so here first of all what is required here okay we need to prove this one okay so we will convert this number these complex number into the polar form okay so consider consider a plus iota b is equals to r cos theta then plus iota sin theta so you will get here r cos theta two complex number are equal if and if and only if their corresponding parts are equal means the real parts are cos r cos theta is equal to the real part okay and the imaginary part r sin theta is equal to the imaginary part that is equal to b right so it is your first and second these are two equations so from first and second from equation first and second we can write it as squaring both the side and then adding them means a r square cos square theta plus r square sin e square theta which is equals to a square plus b square right and from here we will write it is r square cos e square theta and then plus sin e square theta is equals to a square plus b square obviously the value of this is 1 right so you will get here this implies that r is equals to square root of a square plus b square okay a square plus b square similarly what about the value of theta so to calculate the value of theta what will we do uh, from equation one and we will write it as Kaisa likhi hai isko? We will write R sin theta sin theta upon R cos theta right equals to B upon A These are very simple steps to find out the value of theta R will cancelled out You will get here tan theta tan theta will be equals to B upon A and from here you will get the value of theta that is 10 inverse b upon a okay 
so come on we have two values here the value of r is a square root of a square and b square and the value of theta is 10 inverse b upon a now come on come to the question so we need to prove that this okay a plus iota b to the whole power m by n plus a minus iota b to the whole power m by n so now we calculate first a plus iota b to the whole power m by n okay so what about this the value of a is r cos theta and then plus iota the value of r b is r sin theta to the whole power m by n okay so it's very simple now take r is outside so it will come r to the power m by n cos theta plus iota sin theta to the whole power m by n right so what about the value of r the value of r is uh, square root of a square plus b square to the whole power m by n right and it is what uh, cos m by n theta and then plus iota sine m by n theta by the de Morbier's theorem we can write it this as okay or you can write it as a square plus b square to the whole power m by 2n okay and this 1 by 2 is due to square root of that okay so cos m by n theta and then plus iota sine m by n theta right and similarly we will get similarly a minus iota b to the whole power m by n we can write it as a square plus b square to the whole power m by 2n right and cos m by n theta and then minus iota sine m by n theta okay right okay come on now on adding these two we will get on adding these two means uh, it is the equation number third and it, it is the equation number fourth so on adding equations third and fourth we will get what a plus iota b to the whole power m by n right and plus a minus iota b to the whole power m by n that is equals to you know a square plus b square to the whole power m by 2n it is the common part in both the factors okay so you can take common okay and cos m by n theta plus iota sine m by n theta right and then plus cos m by n theta and then minus iota sine m by n theta right so it will cancel out so it is two times so you will get two a square plus b square to the whole power m by 2n and it is you know two times cos m by n theta right so now what about the value of theta here so from the above result we will see the value of theta is m by 2n cos m by n and 10 inverse right 10 inverse b upon a okay 10 inverse b upon a i think it was to prove so let me check it out yes exact we need to prove that so hence proved okay the work methodology is very simple now come on come to the next part and the next part is this right 
so similarly first of all you need to convert these numbers into the polar form means you need to find the value of r in theta so now we start the solution of this question okay consider first of all consider square root 3 plus iota is equals to r cos theta and plus iota sin theta right so on comparing the real and imaginary parts you will get r cos theta is equals to square root 3 and r sin theta is equals to 1 right r sin theta equals to 1 so from here you will get r square is equals to is, is equals to uh, square root 3 square right and plus 1 square so you will get here 3 and then plus 1 that is equals to 4 so uh, the value of r is what that is 2 so what about the value of theta so value of theta will be r sine theta upon r cos theta we need to follow the very simple simple steps okay the r sine theta value is 1 and the value of r cos theta is square root 3 so it is cancelled out and you will get here 10 theta is equals to 1 upon square root 3 so theta is equals to 10 inverse 1 upon square root 3 now come on here the value of theta is you know pi by 6 right 10 inverse 1 by root 3 is the value for pi by 6 so the value of theta is pi by 6 okay the value of r is 2 now we will use these two value now come on okay now square root 3 plus iota is equals to what the value of r is 2 right and cos pi by 6 right and then plus iota sin pi by 6 okay and similarly now similarly you will get square root 3 minus iota is equal is equals to the value is 2 times cos pi by 6 and minus iota sin pi by 6 right now we need to calculate next we need to calculate square root 3 plus iota to the power n and plus square root 3 minus iota to the power n that is equals to what it is you know 2 times cos pi by 6 and then plus iota sin pi by 6 right to the whole power n okay and then plus 2 times cos pi by 6 and then minus iota sin pi by 6 to the whole power n right so you can take 2 to the power in common outside and you will get here cos n pi by 6 right and then plus iota by the demovius theorem sin n pi by 6 and then plus cos n pi by 6 and then minus iota sin n pi by 6 okay so these two two terms will be cancelled out so you will get here 2 to the power n into 2 cos n pi by 6 right and it will be 2 to the power n plus 1 cos n pi by 6 right i think it was to prove let me check it out yes exactly so similarly we will prove this part so all these parts are the parallel okay parallel methodology is, is applied here okay so come on we come to the solution similarly consider 1 plus iota equals to r cos theta plus iota sin theta okay and this implies that r cos theta is equals to 1 and 
r sin theta is equals to 1 right so you will get r square is equals to 2 okay it will give you r is equals to square root 2 okay r is equals to square root 2 come on now what about the value of theta so the value of theta will be given as r sorry r sin theta and divided by r cos theta and the value of r sin theta is 1 the value of r, sin r cos theta is 1 so r is r cancelled out so you will get here 10 theta is equals to 1 and theta is equals to 10 inverse 1 and the value of 10 inverse 1 is pi by 4 so value of theta is pi by 4 the value of r is 2 now we compute a uh, sorry 1 plus iota which will be equals to the value of r is r cos pi by 4 plus iota sine pi by 4 okay and the 1 minus iota equals to square root 2 cos pi by 4 similarly we can write minus iota sine pi by 4 okay next we uh, need to calculate next we need to calculate 1 plus iota to the power n and plus 1 minus iota to the whole power n the steps are very simple okay so here we will write the value of 1 plus iota that is square root 2 and cos or it is better if i write it as cis pi by 4 okay cis pi by 4 to the uh, cis pi by 4 right it is only cis pi by 4 to the whole power n okay similarly uh, square root 2 and uh, you can write it as cis minus pi by 4 to the whole power n okay so in short you will write here uh, is uh, 2 to the power 1 by 2n right and it is cos pi by 4 ah you can write it is uh, by the de Morbius theorem as cis n pi by 4 okay and then plus uh, cis minus n pi by 4 okay you can write it as so it is 2 to the power 2 by n and cos n pi by 4 and then plus iota sin n pi by 4 it is the value of cis n pi by 4 similarly cis minus n pi by 4 will give you cos n pi by 4 n minus iota sin n pi by 4 so this term will be cancelled out and this term will be adding two times so it will give you 2 to the power 1 upon 2 to the power n and into 2 cos n pi by 4 let me check it out what about the answer so answer is okay 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 and by 2 and oh there was a mistake done by me uh, yeah this this one this one it is n by 2 right not 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 this n by 2 okay so it is n by 2 now the final answer is 2 to the power n by 2 plus 1 and cos n pi by 4 hence proved okay so these are the important questions which i have discussed here so guys i hope you enjoyed the sessions and i request each and everyone once again to subscribe my youtube channel like and share the videos okay among your friends and comment in the comment box and press the bell icon to get the further notification so see you in the next video lectures with the awesome contents thank you very much